A 50s pop star and a mouse, but this time, who squeaked? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. I hope you keep it well today. And this particular story just caught my eye. I thought it was fun. I wanted to share it with you in this woke world that we're now all living in. I don't know about you, but if you remember this, then you're older than you look. And yes, I can see you. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, yes. Oh, dear. Some of you need to get a dressing gown on. It's not a good look first thing in the morning, is it? I think when we sit down together, at least put a tie on, even if you've got nothing else. I'm only joking, of course. But if we could see each other first thing in the morning, how bad would that be? Oh, goodness. Not a good look, is it, girls and men? But of course, back to your breaking entertainment story of the day. This particular story really features a star that was a huge star for quite a long time and still remains to be a star in many people's minds, of course. Pat Boone, the singer who really was everything to so many teenage girls in the 50s. He was the sort of surfer boy look, wasn't he? But there were so many boys around that particular period, weren't they? You know, the Tab Hunters, the Fabians, all that sort of stuff. Like every era, it has a bit of an identity, doesn't it? Now, do you remember? that Pat Boone who had a huge hit with Speedy Gonzalez, the fastest mouse in all of the west of Mexico. I think that's the full title. It was a huge fun song. Even I remember that because it got played on the radio on children's things and stuff like that. And if you don't remember Speedy Gonzalez, he was a cartoon, of course, that had that fabulous catchphrase that you could never catch him with, if you remember. Arriba, Arriba, Andre, Andre. Do you remember that one? And it was always on at tea time when he came back from school. Bit annoying, actually. A little bit like Roadrunner because it was the same plot each time. But nonetheless, when you're a kid, you like cartoons. Now, because he had such a big catchphrase, the people behind Pat Boone thought, well, this is a good idea. Let's get a hit record out of it. And a hit record they did. But now, guess what? It's been described as racially <laughs> insensitive. Now, you know, you could just go through everything, couldn't you? You know, I was listening um, to the Flintstones the other day. And, you know, when you think about those lyrics now, meet the Flintstones and have a gay old time. Very strange lyrics now, aren't they, when you think about it? But of course, you know, those were innocent times and words simply weren't hijacked. Everything has now been hijacked to be a cause or indeed, you know, some woke bandwagon. Now, the people behind that particular recording, of course, have now come out of what they call needle time royalties. So they've made a lot of money out of that already. It's not a major problem for them. But of course, this could mean that the record might now not be included on those wonderful compilations that you see every now and again of hit songs of an era. And no doubt depriving Pat Boone and family of lots of royalties. As ever, I just kind of wonder, you know, where are we going? You know, what does this really mean? Sometimes I also think, and let me know what you think in the comments below, I do think that people come up with these stories simply so that they can get some publicity on a, a sort of an idea that people have totally forgotten about. You know, if you think about it, they take a song out of a musical and then you think, oh, is that musical touring? I might go and see it. You know, it works both ways. If you get outrage, you might get some publicity. Otherwise, people don't even know about it. But on this particular story, it does seem rather genuine. So are you really offended <laughs> by Speedy Gonzalez, the fastest mouse in all of the heart of Mexico? As ever, let me know your woke thoughts of what you think in the comments below. For me, I'm about to speed off and do something else now. Neil Shaw in the very heart of London.